Greetings to all and welcome to our Science Club activity. Today we, students of class 9 ICSU of St. Thomas Public School, proudly present the cloud chain. In 1927, the Nobel Prize in Physics was given to a Scottish physicist, Carl Thomson P. E. Wilson, for his invention of the cloud chamber. The cloud chamber is a part of a detector used for visualizing the passage of ionizing radiation. They played a prominent role in experimental particle physics from the 1920s to the 1950s until the advent of the bubble chamber. This, this cloud chamber helped in many discoveries, in particular, uh, the discovery of Bozestron and Mohn by Carl Anderson, who received the Nobel Prize in 1936, used in this cloud chamber. chamber we have used a highly saturated isopropanyl alcohol that is present in this cloud chamber. The particle forms a, a, a nucleation site when uh, it, can, uh, it condenses due to the isopropanyl alcohol present in the cloud chamber. As a result, it leaves a trail behind which can be visible, which is visible and seen by us. The, uh, the longer trails that are present inside the cloud chamber are the, al are the alpha and uh, positron particles whereas the smaller and the uh, minute uh, radiations are uh, the beta particles. I asked class 9 ICC wanted to show the path of the cloud chamber. So let's start with the battery eliminator which provides 12 volts and 2 amps to the wall to a DC water pump. Now the DC water pump helps to cool the Pentium system Pentium system. Now the Pentium system are, the, are two stacked Pentium modules to cool the system to minus 30 degrees Celsius. These Pentium modules are run by an ATX power supply, power supply which can provide 12 volts and 12 amps. The total voltage of the system is 144 watts.